Hello everybody, welcome to Bike Scoop, our weekly show here at Performance Bicycle, where we talk about all the latest and greatest things that are happening in our world that we're excited about and that we want to share with you. Today I'm joined by Stacy Richardson from TrySTACY.com. It's a, she's an elite cycling coach and we're talking all about staying lean and mean on the holiday scene. The uh, turkey dinners are right around the corner and for me that usually means a lot of eating so she's here to help me and, and help everyone else uh, on some tips and tricks to stay healthy this season. Stacy, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having it. me. Yeah. Um, so folks, if this is your first time tuning in, this happens every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Um, thanks for uh, watching. Go ahead and click the like button on Facebook if you haven't already and head over to Instagram and follow us at Performance Bike uh, for all the latest and greatest behind the scenes things that are happening. And today we're, you know, like I said, we're talking about staying fit through the holidays. So we're to that point going to give away a little prize pack um, from Pacific Health. So we've got some Accelerade and some Endurox R4 um, that we're going to send to one lucky winner to be eligible to win that. All you have to do is ask us a question here on the Facebook thread. I'm going to be monitoring it right here on my phone and uh, we'll try to answer some of those questions uh, at the end of this post. All right, but for now, Stacy, again, thanks for joining us. Why don't you tell us just real quick, you know, how you got here? You're a, a, a elite cycling coach. Um, what does that mean and what inspires you to do it? Um, well, thanks for having me. Yeah, awesome. of course. Um, so I coach triathlon and cycling. Okay. And uh, it's my love, it's my passion. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a level one coach in cycling as, and it's just like road categories. It goes three, two, one. Gotcha. I'm super proud of that. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's something to be proud, proud of for sure. I'm hard for that. Yeah. It's taken me eight years. Um, my background is collegiate swimming and racing as a pro triathlete for five years. Cool. No name pro. That's awesome. Won't see my name <laughs> in the headlights. And uh, so now I pretty much, I coach full time and race on the side just for fun. Because I don't want to be a fat coach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a fat coach. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so before we dive into all the details, just give us like your one biggest piece of advice. So we're, we're here today to talk okay. about staying lean and mean through the holiday scene. Um, this is a great time to like quit training for things and quit riding. Daylight savings time no, is over. No, you know, no. the sun's going down. No. These are the things I fight with in my head. No. And I know I battle this. You know, I know I need to fight that stuff. I need to ride. I need to stay fit. It gets hard this time of the year. So before we dive into like all the tips and tricks, like if there's just right. one big takeaway that you would want our viewers to know, what is that one big takeaway? You get one big one and then we're going to break it down. Okay. But it's be intentional. And... So we're going to thread that through as to what you're going to be intentional in, but be intentional in what you do, what you eat, how you schedule it, and it's going to happen. And you're going to kind of mitigate the damage of the bulge. Yeah. Okay, you might gain a couple pounds, but don't gain 20. That's the goal. Gotcha. Okay. So you guys heard it. Be intentional. Be intentional. So let's dive into the specifics then. Um, what's the first thing that we should think about while being intentional? What's like one big thing that we can do over the next two months to really help us stay on, on track and, and kind of get that edge yep. over the New Year's resolution folks? Yep. So, yeah, your New Year's folks are going to come in with those extra 20 and be like, oh my God, <laughs> I haven't worked out in three weeks and my clothes don't fit and I'm fat. All right, so we're trying to combat that. Right. And the first thing we're going to be intentional about is do something every day. Okay. You have to stay consistent. Um, it can be walking the dog. It can be taking a spin class. It can be a trainer ride. But you need to plan and execute that you're going to move your body every single day for the next 60 days throughout this season. And you're just trying to build momentum, right? You're trying to train the habit that gotcha. every day you do something. It could be 30 minutes. It could be a five-hour bike ride. Really, that's up to you. But be intentional, be consistent, and plan it so you're doing something every single day. Gotcha. Okay. And you just mentioned planning. Um, it, yeah. what's the best way to plan this type of stuff? Like kind of, oh, it's 6 a.m., uh, what do I got to do today? Let me check my phone. Oh, I got a meeting at 8. And I, yeah, I should I do it like out. on the day or should I plan this stuff like in advance? Like what's going to help somebody like me stay on track? Yeah, so we were talking about this before, which is everybody has a different style, you know. Our cameraman Kyle plans around when Jess says he can work out, right? <laughs> when your wife says you hey, can Kyle. work out. Hi, Kyle. When your wife says you can work out, you can work out. Um, but really, I think you have to plan in advance. It's mm -hmm. just a habit of people who are effective in the world at more than exercise. Um, but I plan with clients one to two weeks at a time, and I have them think about the other things in their life and check in with their 
spouse on back to school night and family trips and all that. So plan your workouts once you know what's going on in the rest of your life and plan accordingly. Because everybody can think of an excuse. Right. Oh, I got a doctor's appointment I forgot about. <laughs> well, if you don't have a doctor's appointment at yeah. 5 a.m., when you could be riding your trainer. Or so and so is trainer. coming over. There's always a reason to celebrate. All my friends are coming over. Yeah. Really? At 5 I haven't in the seen morning? them in so long. Yeah, oh. exactly. That doesn't happen at 5 a.m. Then get up. Yeah. So, yeah, so that planning, that communication, yeah, the advanced planning is going to make it work. But right. on the fly, it just doesn't work. Yeah. No. Yeah. I find you know, personally, I try to plan five to six days in advance, but then I always try to be like really flexible. You know, if I like show up um, and you know, a meeting pops up or something like that, and I'm, uh, you know, I miss my routine scheduled workout, I try not to get too angry about that kind right. of stuff, right? So it's right. good to be flexible, right? It's good to be flexible, but not too flexible, right? Because right? we're all good at making excuses. But yeah, there's the rest of your life. I mean, so we're trying to keep this a positive thing, yeah. consistent, and that you're not beating yourself up if you miss a workout, but that's probably not the day to eat two large pizzas at right. night. <laughs> it's probably not the best day yeah. to do that. So if you miss a workout, yeah, eat a, eat a salad for lunch. Yeah, you know, make, or, or make your training count some other dinner. way. Right. Yeah, cut back the beer that day, yeah. or you know what I mean? Make it balance out some other way. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so when it comes to planning and doing something every day, is there any type of workout that you can do that's gonna pack more punch than some other workout? Yeah, so um, this is the season for intensity. Okay. Right. If you're short on time because of family stuff, kids are home from school, you can't, you know, <clears throat> call in sick to work and go for four hour <laughs> bike rides. Uh, this would be a good season to up your intervals on the trainer or running or any other sports that you're doing because it does pack more punch. You burn more calories in session and you also have a longer afterburn. Gotcha. Not that we're trying to say we have to burn off everything we eat. Right. right. Like we're not going to get nuts about that. But this would be the season to bring intensity in because it's a time saver. Gotcha. So yeah, if you're going to go so to the inside gym, on the trainer, be on the yeah, or be on the trainer for an hour. Make it count. Do hard intervals and make them up. Make pyramids. Do different kinds of intervals and get creative. But it's time to go hard. Gotcha. Gotcha. And if you're looking for some really hard intervals, if you're on Zwift, Zwift actually has some super hard They're intervals crazy. on there. If you have a, a you know good interactive smart trainer. Yep. Um, so we were talking earlier. Another thing um, to help you you know, through the holiday lulls is to pick an event. Yeah. So what type of event can yeah. I just, you know, oh, I'm going to do the turkey trot the day after Thanksgiving. And, no. you know, I'm not going to train for it because I can bust no. out a 5K kind of thing. Like that kind of event? No. No. So <laughs> Come on. It has to be, all right. So we just, we decided it has to be something you pay for. Okay. It has to be something that scares you just a little bit. Okay. Right? Something I, I can't just show up and do. I want it to be something you can't just show up and do. Right. No, that's not, it's not a goal you can train towards. Um, and it's something you can print out the receipt or whatever and put it on your wall and look at it every day. Okay. Okay. So yeah, set a bit of a reach goal. If you know that you can do a five gotcha. K off the couch, then sign up for a 10 K. Gotcha. Right. The St. Patty's day ones or all the ones that are in February or March, like give yourself a little bit of time to train and be successful at yeah. it rather than yeah. be a disaster. And are you yeah, training to win or are you training to finish for this kind of thing? You're training not to get fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> You're training not to get That's fat. That's right. There is no off season right? when it comes there to that. There is no off season. Yeah. You're training to balance. You're right. training so that you don't chop your children into small pieces on a bad day. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we're like, we're training to balance it all. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, if you're just joining us, this is the, uh, the Facebook Bike Scoop. It happens every day at, I'm sorry, every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And today we're joined by uh, Stacy um, from trystacycoaching.com or trystacy.com. Um, and today we're talking about staying lean to mean through the holiday scene and staying away from those holiday pounds. So, you know, so far, if you're just, you know, tuning in with us, we talked about being intentional with the choices that you make. Talked about doing something every day, even if it's just 45 minutes and you're doing trainer intervals. Um, and to pick an event, pay for the event, you know, pay for it, something yeah. that you need to, to train for, not just show up for. Put that receipt up on the wall. Um, yeah. And then, you know, what about eating? So those are some great, we talked about being intentional. You know, what about when it actually comes time to eat that food? You're going to those banquets, you know, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And, you know, for a lot of folks who have lots of different family members and friends coming into town, like I, I can actually already count, I think I have three Thanksgiving feasts awesome. on the calendar already. Oh, man, I can't wait. I'm so, so excited. I'll see you on the road riding. What are, the, you know, what are your tips and tricks for when it comes to, yeah. Time to show up to that banquet. You know, I'm walking in, I got my side dish, I got my beer in hand, totally. or my bottle of wine. Desserts look good. It's time to eat. There it is. On. What do I do? Be intentional. Intentional, okay. How? Right? We're going back to point number one, okay. which is 
you can have desserts at your party, right? I mean, you can make silly rules, but you can have desserts, but you get one little plate. Mm -hmm. And you get to taste them each, and you get to savor them. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You don't get multiple trips to the dessert bar. <laughs> no. I mean, you can, right? It's your choice. You're yeah. grown up. But don't come crying to me when you're right. like, oh, I gained 20 pounds in two weeks. So, yeah, be intentional. Slow down. Be intentional. Um, you can do the old trick of having a salad or a soup before you go to the party. Uh -huh. You can pre-eat and be full with like fiber and healthy food and gotcha. seltzer. I know that's one of your tricks we've talked about. Yeah, we'll talk about the seltzer in a second. Yeah. Yep. So you can do some of that stuff, but it's really, it's behavioral training, right? right? It's just be intentional and slow it down. And um, yeah, it just slow it down. You get to eat those treats. You just don't eat five million of them. And then maybe, it's you right. know, instead of like two scoopings of stuffing, Yum. maybe <laughs> maybe a half a scoop of stuffing with half maybe scoop. some extra salad and some green you beans or something like out. that. You can balance it out. You can do it. Yeah. I mean, it's not fun, right? But we're all going to suffer together. Yeah, it still tastes like, good, you know. And I always go back to the fact, you know, personally, it tastes delicious during I'm eating, but as soon as I'm done eating, the deliciousness is gone. I no you longer. Probably ate too fast. I don't my get friend. to to enjoy it anymore, you and then I'm just fast. left with this feeling of oh afterwards. Um, so if I do binge, how long is that uh, is that going to affect me? Let's just say right. that I'm trying, but yep. you know, and a good example is this past weekend I went up to Asheville, and I had 24 <laughs> hours of doing whatever I wanted, and I stepped yeah. on the scale after I got back, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I wouldn't personally, I would wait a week. Wait a week I'd to a week. step on the scale? Yeah, I'd wait a week. Gotcha. I would just, and uh, when we talk about other things like when you get home and you realize you're off track, like write it down for three days. Write down what you're eating and why. Gotcha. You remember that silly axiom, axiom from Weight Watchers? Yeah. Are you hungry enough to eat a, an apple? Right, right now? Right. Yeah, no. I can eat an apple right now. No, I couldn't. No? I think they're so boring. <laughs> they and I'm not really boring. hungry if yeah. I don't want the apple, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, get back on track, but ease up on yourself right gotcha. and yeah it does help to exercise because it just it's it's integrated right body and mind and you'll forgive yourself for overeating but you know go for a walk go for a ride and yeah. just get back on track gotcha yeah gotcha so talking about eating um you know let's segue that into drinking so yeah. when it comes to beer you know and this is my this is my tip this is my trick mm -hmm. you may have your own but when it's time for me to drink at these engagements and these feasts I, I try to swap you know instead of two beers in a row a beer with the seltzer water yeah. right yeah, um, or like a LaCroix or something like that yeah. especially LaCroix because I or a can of seltzer right because I can slide it into my koozie and it looks like I'm drinking a beer but I'm actually oh, then just, you're cool I'm actually just hydrating then you're cool too. anything any other tips on, I think along that's those a great lines idea. Cool. I don't give up beer yeah you know? it's pretty and good don't think that you need to drink light beer because if you, what you want is dark beer yeah. we talked about tis that. the season tis the season yeah. drink what you want but be mindful of how much you Be drink. Be mindful and drink it right. slowly and like try and taste it and think about how the beer was made. And I'm not a beer yeah. expert, but taste it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Don't give up beer. So let's talk real quick. So we're talking about eating, going to feasts. I've already got three on the books. When it comes to planning family trips, let's say out of town and you have to be gone for three to four to five days, you know, what are some tips and tricks to kind of like earn brownie points to be able to bring your bike <laughs> with you and maybe take one or two of those days or a few of those mornings to ride your bike. Should we leave the bike at home? Should I bring a trainer with me? Should I just right. go for a run? Should I just not do anything? This is like a weighted question. It's like, <laughs> it's like I'm stepping into this like totally weighted hole, question. Right. So be intentional. Right. Right. Um, for me, it, the first place I would go is my spouse or the people I'm spending the holiday with and say, hey, so thinking of bringing my trainer, bringing my bike, um, start negotiating. If right. you're going to take, then what are you going to give, right? If you're going to take time to ride, then sign up for food prep. Watch the kids while your wife goes and sees high school friends or family. Right. Like Before you take, you got to figure out what you're going to give in that equation. And then don't overtake. Like Really, like a four or five hour bike ride on a Four day week <laughs> trips probably not. The probably not. Thing. Probably not. But you can go disappearing to the in local room. mountain bike trails all day. No, probably sit, not. Sit in a room, <laughs> do really high end intervals, and yell and let them see that you're a perfectly sane son-in-law. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think you can negotiate it. You could also consider, you know, what are your resources nearby? And I say this to clients when they travel: um, look up what's the nearest gym, what's yep. the nearest running trail. 
you know, what are your resources and use them. What time do they open? Can you exercise before everybody else is up? I'll yeah. bet you can. Yeah. 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 And I found that just the quick run, 30 to 45 minutes That's in the morning. Great. I've, just I've done that in the past. Even though I'm not a runner, it's something to do. I can do something yes. every day, even while I'm gone. You're training a um, habit. What about after we're, we're done eating and there's all these leftovers? Because there's no way that anyone can ever finish all. Well, maybe some people can finish all the leftovers. But everyone brings so much food. What do you do with these leftovers to not keep them around? Well, we talked about this before. Um, inviting people to bring less. Right. might be the first step. Like, oh, we already have a tray of stuffing. Oh, I loved your stuffing last year. Could you bring something else, right? So first of all, managing the feast might be mm -hmm. a first step. But then, so let's hope that you're left with a little less. Right. Um, but have everybody take home Tupperwares of like a little bit of everything they've tasted. Yeah. And the first thing that you send home should be the thing that's calling your name in the middle of the night. The dessert. Zach. The carbs. Zach. The stuffing, right? Yeah, for me, it's the pies and it's the cakes and it's the cookies. Like, just get that out the yeah. door. The Tupperware yeah. tricks are one of my my favorite That's tricks, great. right? Because Tupperware is like pretty cheap. You can go buy a bunch of cheap Tupperware and you can box the leftover stuff up yep. before the people leave and you can send it home with them. Yep. But you can keep all the beer and stuff, right? You can like keep the, the beer. extra beer, you just keep that at the house. Keep the beer. Beer right? and green beans and you're like good to go. Um, I guess, you know, I was saying earlier you could also just feed it to the dog, but I guess that's probably no. not, not a good thing to no. do, right? No, then your dog has to go on a right? ride. Your dog can't ride a bike. Your dog's not going to shop at performance. That's yeah, right. Can't ride that's a bike, right. So, no, that's not going to work. So, these are great tips and tricks. Let's, um, let's head over here and see what we've got going on. Um, again, if you're just joining us, this is the Performance Bike Scoop. And uh, this happens every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It looks like we've got 10 comments here. Um, oh man, you guys one, better be nice. Again, if you're just joining us, this is the performance bike What's your sleeping regime like? So if you work out at 5 a.m., what time do you need to go to bed? That's a great question. Yeah, and that is from Cullen one. Carter. Uh, great question. So... Maybe you're someone who's an early riser every day, right? That's your natural biorhythm. Or maybe that's really a stretch for you to yeah. get up at 5 a.m. And so um, I would plan like three days in the week where you're going to do that. Right. Start, like train the habit early. Um, so maybe you have control over Sunday night sleep. So it's like Wednesday, Friday. But work out a system where, and be realistic that you're not going to get up every single day at 5 if your body is just really... Yeah, if that's not natural for you. Yeah. Or if you're a late night person who's really awake at 11 o'clock yeah. and you know, you're writing your doctoral thesis. Right. So <laughs> be realistic. Um, most people in training need seven and a half hours of sleep as their minimum. I think that's yeah. super important. Yeah. 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 And so it's, if you sacrifice sleep for training, that'll catch up to you really quickly. And then your colleagues hate you and your family hates you yeah. and then you gain weight. Like it sets up a whole other set of problems. So protect your sleep. The workouts and the sleep have to be dance partners. That's gotcha. a really good question. Cool. Yeah. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. We've awesome. kind of dove into the tips and tricks to how to stay, you know, lean and mean on this holiday scene. Uh, first off is be intentional, right? Be intentional yeah. with what you uh, decide to do. Pick an event that you have to stretch for. Uh, sign up for that event. Pay for it. Post it on the wall. That's right. Um, what else? Do something be every consistent. single day. Be consistent. Yeah. Enjoy be your moving. treats but don't overeat, yeah, yeah. right? Hey, that yeah. was pretty good. That was very good. All right, That's so everybody, catchy. this is the Bike Scoop. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Again, this is uh, Stacy. She's from trystacy.com, and you can go over to her website anytime after this to ask her any additional questions that you have. You can also post yeah. them here on the comment section, and we'll uh, work with her to answer those over the next couple of days. Um, and again, we're picking a winner of an Endurox R4 and Accelerated package today, so as long right. as you commented on this post in the next 24 hours, we'll pick a winner. And um, that pretty much wraps it up yeah, for Bike Scoop today. Stacy, cool. thanks again. Awesome. Appreciate it. Fun. And you guys thanks have a great me. afternoon. See you, Instagram.